Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm Lucas and welcome to a reaction to the latest deep dive on F1 23, which I believe has got breaking point info and more about F1 World, which is, I think, one of the new key components to this year's game. Uh, I haven't saw it yet. Um, I've literally got it loaded up on YouTube right now. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, all right, all right. So we have breaking point two and F1 World deep dive. Now, last time we obviously had the sort of a more overview of the game but this one's a little bit more specific so let's have a watch i've only saw like the first 13 seconds of this so i yeah i've been busy all day let's watch you know what your problem is? You have got to big devon big wind up merchant get lost. yeah devon get lost Game. First up, Breaking Point is back. Wow. The thrilling story mode returns with a fresh chapter featuring new faces, new rivalries, and more drama. Are you joking? Are you joking though? Two spans the 2022 and 2023 F1 seasons. Oh, so it's across the years then. Team, Connor Sport. Connor Sports drivers are old rivals, Aidan Jackson and Devon Butler. Nah, mate, they're best mates, what are you on about? Seats may not be safe for long, with new prospect Callie Mayer dominating the Formula 2 season. The writing team collaborated with three-time W Series world champion and Williams F1 development driver Jamie Chadwick to bring Callie's story to life. All right. I like the idea of Callie being very much focused on performance results. Breaking Point 2 cinematic cutscenes help immerse you in the narrative with major visual upgrades. What's the that is fair as well, to be fair. Like, the, the visually, it does all look pretty damn good. technology and machine learning, the characters feel more realistic than ever before. As you move through the story, your performance and reputation nice apex, change mate. based on your actions on and off the track. <laughs> Okay, that was a little bit of a quick runoff. All right then. A certain amount of performance and reputation. Your press responses and management decisions can trigger different bonus objectives. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is this? Developing the car. All oh, right, so we can actually focus. You can actually focus on. Hmm. Focus on either year. Okay, that's that's interesting. So you can sort of change the narrative a little bit. Look at this man, he's so he's just looking at you like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No. But um and I guess that's like you have to have a certain level um before you can say, yeah, let's just do both guys, you know, let's just put the exact same amount of resource into two things. Yeah. So interesting. I was I wasn't planning on stopping and starting this trip this video and trailer, but whoa, whoa. We'll just here we go. Can trigger different bonus objectives and completing the top bonus five objectives. No effect how a certain storyline plays. Mate, out. hold on, he was hyped. Now nah, I'm gonna start pausing it all the time. There. How a certain Look at my man, he's absolutely gassed. Out. Progress in breaking point two still earns you podium pass XP, and as a pre order bonus, some of the breaking point characters are available as driver icons in. <laughs> I saw Yarnold tweet this earlier. You get Lord Pastor on there. You get Maldonado. You get Kobe Ashi as well. So I guess we're going to have a bunch of um, teammates you can choose. Um, that's going to be interesting. My team. Play the mode from launch to help Cali and Connor Sport make history by battling the big names in Formula One. I don't know who that was, but yeah. He's like a big CEO looking guy. All dressed up nice and fan in nice F1 and fancy. We're also introducing F1 right, World. what's this about? I've heard a lot about this on Twitter. For a variety of daily, weekly, and ever changing seasonal content. I was gonna say that's, that's, that sounds very much like sort of seasonal stuff, so that'll be interesting to see because this is the first time F1's really tried to introduce this sort of seasonal um style that we've seen across you know various games whether it be you know call of duty fortnite obviously being one of the the sort of i guess the trailblazers with you know i mean at least in terms of a large scale of um up to the best of my knowledge of like you know pushing that sort of criteria so yeah complete challenges compete online and play events updated throughout the season to increase your tech level and earn upgrades oh 
Huh? As your tech level increases, so does your car's performance. And you get the ability to compete in more challenging events. Play the solo series to enter a range of competitive events designed to take you on a single player journey through a variety of modes and tracks. Improve your driving skills. Oh, that's all against DI though, circuits, I think. And race in a variety of different cars. Or check out solo and multiplayer events. But what about the multiplayer? A range of daily, weekly, and seasonal events for both solo players and multiplayer fans alike. From multiplayer Grand Prix races to time trial challenges, there's something here for everyone with updated content drops that align with the real world F1 schedule. Apply upgrades you've earned to. Right, that's because that, that all sounds like pretty, you know, standard, but I want to see, like, this bit here now. Right, so we've got what we've we got here. We've got, I guess, with points that you accumulate, you can, or whether it's points or whether it's the level, tech level one and five, one and three. Yeah. Play upgrades you've earned to your F1 World car to make it faster and more powerful. So we have an F1 World, F1 World dedicated car. Two categories: car parts like brakes and gearboxes, and team member upgrades. Team member upgrades include team principal, strategist, R&D team, and sponsors. These can also have contracts assigned to them that award bonus gameplay mods. As you complete challenges and raise your tech level on your F1 world journey, commemorate your progress with a new compendium. It's your virtual sticker album that celebrates <laughs> everything to do with Formula One, past and present. F1 world's new engineering system Allows you to use resources to complete. Oh, so, so cash insight, key insight, critical insight, setup data, track the <laughs> blueprints and craft. Look at this. Well, hold on. This is F1 World. So we've got resources, parts, teams, contract, compendium. This looks pretty in depth, to be fair. Like, I mean, this is all. Ooh. Various upgrades, contracts, compendium stickers, and more. I just get flashback. I just saw that. I just saw that. Um, wait, wait, was that Abu Dhabi 2021? I, I, I swear. Is it, is it just me? I swear that's Abu Dhabi. Is that Abu Dhabi 2021? I just saw that image and I was like, I've, I've just had flashback. I've just get taken straight back to the moment of watching that race. I was like, hang on a minute. And more. Within F1 World, you can also compete in F1. Who the f- <laughs> e series and the oh, I actually, it's me, which, uh, okay, it's the whole team now. <laughs> okay, I was pausing that, like, to I mean? I didn't expect to actually see that. Right, right, I've seen this, I've seen people talk about this on Twitter. I want to know more about this. Ranked multiplayer. That looks interesting to me. With a new division-based ranking system. Right, nice, nice. This is me like, nice, okay. Join a group. Each week you play, you'll be added to a group with, the, with other members of your division. Meet with your group mates over the course of the week. Spot at the top of the table. Okay. Play to earn points, weekly promotions, earn prizes, podium pass, XP boost. Oh, okay. Compete right. in ranks over the course of the week to earn points and... Nice. We've got a leaderboard. I, I saw someone tweet this out about, about, about like the leaderboard and stuff. This looks, this looks pretty cool. This gives an extra, this is cru crucial to be fair though, having an extra element of online um, features included in the game because that it also helps the longevity of the game, you know, multiplayer and open lobbies and, you know, all these sort of things are a huge part of, you know, the longevity of the game and, you know, us guys streaming as well, you know, when we're streaming, over, I mean, I won't lie, over the last few years, you do kind of get, it gets very repetitive very quickly, you know, you get your my team, your co-op, and you open lobbies, and then you've got like, league races. But out with that, what do you really have? I mean, this season we've, we've also got Breaking Point, which will be very prominent at the very beginning of the game. But now we've got, you know, F1 World, you know, getting that, that was a whole thing in itself to go through and like understand. And that's going to be really fun to actually learn through the whole process. Um, but having a leaderboard as well is for like sort of a ranked play, um, sort of similar to other titles out there is definitely not a bad thing you know having more features and more things that we can actually do with the game both in the present and the longer term of you know through the game cycle is really really important because you know i think on f122 the game cycle 
um, dipped a bit quicker than it had in previous years in terms of like engagement with the game. So I think this will, I'd say this is, you know, it can only be a positive thing um, for the longer span of, well, the lifespan of the game, so say. So that's my take from this very short uh, piece of, you know, from my very short understanding of what we've saw in the four minutes and 40, damn, I, I paused it on 4.44. What can I say? Oops, leaderboard. At the end of the week, players at the top of the leaderboard get promoted to higher divisions. Right, so it's like a weekly, like, promotional division. thing. Elite. This is no longer Race to elite. Race to elite. global leaderboard of the mm. best ranked players Seasons. in the world. So I mean, that's similar to, like, the, the COD ranked player that you see. So like, if anyone watches, sort of, CDL or anything like that, it's a similar concept by the looks of it, which is pretty damn cool. In higher divisions, earn a podium pass XP bonus. It's yeah. in effect throughout F123, which, in conjunction with the new goal system, goals ranked multiplayer, solo and multiplayer event series. There's a lot. This is this is the first time in a while where I've had to like stop and pause and actually think. There's like, about how many different you know things there are in the game to you know go about. This is pretty. It's pretty cool um, to see you know more core modes being added in you know you've got your classic modes you're gonna have you know your gp modes your time trial uh my team co-op you know all the things we've mentioned before but this is it's definitely not a bad thing that we're getting more things that we can you know be engaged with for longer in the game and learn as well it'll be real and it's great for streaming as well great for you know producing content for you guys as well this play as many opportunities to speed up their podium pass progression and earn great. Get it, guys, he's, he was on the podium. Rewards. Awesome. With F1 World in F123, you can truly pick and choose how you want to play and progress. And along with the new chapter for Breaking Point, we can't wait for you to experience it all. Now, can I just say as well, well that, that this is I love how the. Albeit this isn't the actual car models, but like the. The fact that we have a skinnier nose now instead of like the really the, the bigger one from previous years is a, is a, a dub in my opinion. This looks a lot more sleek. For yourself. Meow. Okay. Well, there you have it then. That was, um, yeah, that was our. Just trying to see if there's anything I really want to skim over, but, you know, we had the breaking point. We had the. The F1 World. We're also introducing F1 World. Um, yeah. For a variety. Yeah. So, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a load of We've got league racing. Ah. <laughs> you have grasped my attention, but I mean, there's no info on that. I don't think so. But the, this is all positive stuff. I think going forward for the game. But I think, to be honest, that about you know that about wraps it up. So, yeah, I guess. You know, we've got some new things to look forward to in this year's game. So that will wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my... my Honestly, this was the first time me re reacting to this trailer. So, you know, hope you guys, um, you know, enjoyed it. Found it a little bit, you know, informative in any way. Um, you know, give me your honest feedback in the comments. That's what I'm really after. Um, you know, I really want to know what you guys do or don't like um, with my videos. Um, you know, I'm always learning when it comes to this content stuff. So, um, you know, but... Yeah, take care everybody. Thanks very much for tuning in. You know, like and subscribe. You know, that classic line that YouTubers say to, you know, beg people for the, 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 the clicks of the mouse. But I'm joking. But, you know, that stuff. There's me trying to be funny. I'm not very good at it. Take care, everyone. I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See ya.